new art. This week we're going to take a look at uh, the Champions Collection portrait of Eddie Guerrero. Uh, Eddie is one that's always been uh, very special to me. Uh, didn't really uh, watch WCW while he was there, but as soon as he came into WWE, I was just instantly uh, amazed by the guy. Uh, and of course, uh, his whole um, Latino heat and uh, his, uh, his background in... Uh, uh, you know, culturally with, with uh, the Latino people. I wanted to integrate that into the piece as well. So I uh, did a lot of things uh, based around uh, um, uh, rooting in like cholo graffiti and then modern uh, Latin influence on street art. I tried to get all those things in there, uh, you know, like notably with artists like Retina and Elmac and, uh, you know, just wanted to get those pieces uh, be a part of this as well. Uh, also, when I had first penciled this out, I wasn't exactly sure uh, what I was going to do with it. So I had, you know, the pencils and it was sitting there on the easel in front of me, and behind me is a glass block window, and uh, the diffused light created a bit of a halo around the head, and just right there, the whole piece materialized in my eyes, and I knew exactly what I was going to do, especially with uh, uh, Eddie's uh, born again uh, faith that he had. Uh, so I had all those uh, graffiti type elements in there first and now coming in with the portrait proper. Uh, as you can see it kind of creates almost like a saint like thing around him and you know not really trying to make any sort of uh, religious statement about him. It's just some of those uh, iconic images uh, that I was using in the piece instead. Uh, and then uh, you know doing a acrylic with the face here. I uh, used quite a bit of different media in this. There was uh, spray paint and paint marker and, and you know acrylic as well on there. Uh, just a lot of things and you know I really feel like this piece uh, went to another level with uh, what I'm able to do visually. And there's the finished piece. Not bad. with a very heavy heart that I'm dedicating this episode to the memory of Warrior. Uh, my thoughts are with his friends and family, and though our lives only intersected so briefly, uh, I'll forever treasure that it was so meaningful.